the province, man. You have no shortage of wildlife you can interact with. And even though if it's a simple cow, whatever, right? Cows are awesome. Uh, just grazing, it's just awesome to see. You wake up in the morning and see this, or hear them in the morning. When you wake up, it's pretty awesome. It's the sounds of the nature. Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys for joining me. If you guys checked out my last vlog, thank you very much for all the new subscriptions and all of the likes and support that you guys been giving me over these past few months that I've been finding myself able to be consistent to make the vlogs for you guys, for those foreigners that uh, wish to have more knowledge and know more about the Philippines. So today is Saturday. It is very, very hot. Unfortunately, province government does have a local lockdown on Saturdays. I'm not sure why they picked this day, but um, who knows? Uh, and for that reason, I did notice a lot of a lot of commotion, a lot of traffic, and a lot of gatherings in the stores uh, yesterday, which was Friday, and I'm sure tomorrow Sunday, which the lockdown will be lifted. It will also have a lot of people out and about so um, even though it's just one day Saturday I usually always relax on Saturdays anyways so I figure I hit you guys with another vlog and I'm dropping gems on your life so thank you very much for the newcomers if you stop by and you have not subscribed to my channel feel free to subscribe to my channel here you can see my name pop up as a prompt on the screen and share with your friends and everybody that you know that is interested in visiting the Philippines for travel or is interested in coming here or has a lady or interested in any women here then you want to check out my channel and share with all of your friends so today's vlog is directed to those that know very little about the Philippines and as you know I, I always love to give you guys information about any way possible anything that I have knowledge about that I've experienced which I've been here for a long time so I figure that I am qualified to talk about these things on my channel I always like to focus on more of the positive things being that I do enjoy being in this country I love this country and I have nothing but great things to say today's video and today's topic that you foreigners will not believe until you actually came here and experienced them and for you viewers feel free to comment down below if you've already been here and there's something that you want to tell me that is something unbelievable and you didn't believe it until you got here or for any Filipinos that have any fun facts about here for the foreigners yeah drop a comment down below and tell me I would really love to know about that Philippines is such a wonderful place and chances are you've already seen it on YouTube on TV and you've seen the sheer beauty of this place and the beaches the ocean but let's take a dive and if you don't really know what it has to offer then I'll be giving you our number one our number one is Philippines has over 7,000 islands so 7,000 islands that make up the Philippines and it is pretty pretty remarkable how this country was formed obviously they were formed by volcanoes and uh, over millions of years I suppose um, this place was formed and there are interconnecting islands in which you can take a ferry plane car many different ways you can get around all of the 7,000 islands and um, not all of the 7,000 islands are actually habitable but for the most part as you know this country is driven by tourism so most of the islands you are able to visit if you are adventurous enough to travel the very smaller islands out there that people usually do not choose to visit or explore 
but definitely if you are in the Philippines there is endless opportunity for you to explore and discover new beauties that this place has to offer for tourists and definitely for the tourists it is a good way to understand this country and what it has to offer from a geographical standpoint now as you can see it's pretty vast as we know it's in the indo-pacific so the water is amazing it's full of coral full of life and it is definitely sustainable for life because of its fishing and the people really live off of the ocean really they take the natural resources and they harvest sell and they live off basically the islands of this country it's pretty amazing to think about and if you look at the philippines on the map you can tell that at some point it was pieced up or the different volcanic activities were spread out throughout the country so when you witness this you will see that every island you go to has its own things that it offers has its own beauties that it offers some are beautiful obviously there are some parts that might be a little bit less beautiful it depends on your taste and what you consider as being a paradise in itself so from my experience i've been to a lot of places that are beautiful and i've explored different islands uh, but it's probably 0.01% of the amount of islands that this place actually has. So if you do come to the Philippines, then definitely check out the main islands. They're very accessible by boat or plane, and I'm sure you'll find some enjoyment. Next on my list, I myself was actually very surprised about, and as we know, there are many different malls and sizes of malls throughout the world and on the list of the top 10 biggest malls the philippines accounts for three of those on the list yes so a developing country we did not expect it to have the biggest malls or some of the biggest malls in the world three of them on the top 10 list of biggest malls in the world two of the biggest ones are more noticeable one in manila which is the SM Mall, and then the one in Cebu, which is the SM Mega Mall. So definitely, if you want a good shopping experience and you are in the right place, uh, you, you are going to have a good time. It doesn't only offer shopping. There are a lot of entertainment, uh, things that we can do here at the malls and different places we can eat. You can get to try some of the local chain foods that the Philippines has to offer and some of the small kiosks that are pretty interesting to try on the weekends it is a popular thing to do in the Philippines and that is to go to the mall whether you're going with your friends or whether you're actually going to buy something um, definitely it's a good place to witness and maybe meet some locals or if you are a foreigner that is single you, you can actually come here and act and there's a potential that you can meet some women now you come here it's going to be loaded with people it's going to be pretty much packed especially the one in manila and it, it serves a great place for you to have opportunity to meet new women people that uh, are going to serve you some kind of comfort away from home if you plan on living here in the future now some guys come here and they don't have plans to actually be with a girl they just want to witness um, the, another country or retire in another country well this is a perfect place to come and mingle and meet and interact with the locals you'll get a different side of how shopping is for your average foreigner right so you're in another country, you're in a mall that is probably going to look similar to the ones that you have in your country. Uh, just the differences, different people, different attitudes, personalities, just much more friendlier in general. So if you're definitely in the city, check out these malls. Next on my list is, did you know that Manila, yes, the capital of the Philippines, is the most populated city in the world yeah and 
if you've ever maneuvered or traveled in the city of Manila, then you would know and you would understand that this fact is definitely true and it holds up to its name. Now, just like other places like Los Angeles, Vancouver, New York, these places all have traffic, but Manila in particular has some of the worst traffic and congestion that you can imagine. Um, there are some accounts that uh, it would take somebody 45 minutes to get 8 kilometers from point A to point B at any given moment in the morning. You can see how congested this looks here. It just looks like a nightmare. Now, I've dealt with this. I've lived in California. I'm from New York. So I definitely know how it is and how it feels to be stuck in traffic or to be in a congested environment where you kind of feel like you're not gonna get anywhere anytime soon and uh, maybe you've probably lost a job or two from being late due to the traffic and rush hour. So the rush hour in Manila is usually about 3 p.m. to 7.30. It is probably a standard for rush hour in the world and just like Manila's rush, rush hour in the United States, we also have a rush hour and it's the same time. Now, it is a lot of things that you have to consider. The traffic, there are so many motor vehicles, motorellas, jeepneys. There are some trains that you can take, but I will warn you that those trains will be jam-packed, sort of like what you would see in China, sometimes at the peak of the rush hour. If you are in the city, take a grab. It is as similar as Uber. Those guys know the shortcuts and they drive pretty fast. So that's it for today's video, guys. Three things that you would not believe unless you came to the Philippines and witnessed it yourself. I hope you guys got some information and value from this video. Don't forget, if you enjoyed my video, like, comment, subscribe, share this video. And don't forget, wherever you are in the world, whether it be in your country or in the Philippines, people need help at any given moment. Help anybody you can. It's going to suit you better in the long run. And I, and I, mm, mm.